Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? For your trouble. It was a pleasure, in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron? Clive, my boy! Tavern cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! <laughs> Uncle Byron doing here. Only one way to find out. The little ones have been up to their old tricks. There's just one thing after another around here. Dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosaleth to Port Isolde. I was. Aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Kupka withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think... With this news of the Dalmechian fleet, and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost... Crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberwood on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned. And where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Me 
Kids finished outfit in her little workshop by here. Otto, Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The Lanzer and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way? You ask for Rosina Dalemil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name. And that they used to meet at the Dalemil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. What's wrong, Gav? It's this gold your uncle gave us. Are you sure it's all right for us to take it? My uncle isn't easily refused. Especially where dispersing his wealth is concerned. But 2,000 talents. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know how much that is in Gil. It's the price of a quayside mansion in the Crystalline Dominion. He sold one to fund our endeavor. He was hoping to part with it anyway, what with war brewing in the region. And... Luckily for him, a Sambraquan noble was willing to pay over the odds for a foothold in the Holy Emperor's neighborhood. But still, uh, 2,000 talents! I mean, is it normal for nobles to give away that kind of money? It's normal for my uncle. Fuck me. Oh, the other half live here. Eh? Well, now that we've got a few gills to rub together, do you think it'd be all right if I splashed out on a few bottles of Lost Wings finest? Here, leave some for the rest of us, Otto. If he's filling his cellar, I'm filling our larder, starting with a barrel of the best salt-cured northern salmon. I'll leave you to decide how best to use it. Just don't spend all at once, all right? I've never seen a crate full of gill before, let alone two. Your uncle certainly knows how to make an entrance. I heard they called Rosina the Desert Hare on account of how little escapes her ears. That and her habit of bolting at the first sign of danger. But if she knew Sid was looking for her, she might just be tempted back out of her burrow. All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure.